Hi, I'm Gil from Testing Gil, and in this series I'm talking about APIs and API testing. How to come up with test cases, how to figure out what's important to test, and what we need to understand when we're building a plan. Today let's talk about input data. The number of cases we can think to test with just data for a single API can fill hours of job. Here's an example. This is our API. This is a scheduling API. JSON body I'm sending has all these fields. What kind of cases do we need? Well, there's the valid data scenario, of course, where a new meeting is created. Then there's the logically invalid part. For example, if a meeting with this kind of data already exists, you probably fail. Or if the length field contains a negative number. All these cases are great in new testing. But let's dive deeper into the body's format. We're using JSON as payload and JSON is text. And we can do a whole lot of damage with text. Then we can check out how the system behaves or if it's now a broken down mess. Here are a couple of examples. Missing fields. Are all these fields necessary? What happens if we don't send them? Or same fields, different types. Or same fields appearing twice. Or completely different JSON altogether or a valid one with non-English characters. Or check this out. That's stringing at its best. Why stop there? Let's play with the format. Why not send the body as XML and see if it flows or syncs? The underlying technology of web APIs is HTTP-based, which means it's string-based. And there's so much we can play with and should check when using strings. Testing API is fun, isn't it? That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, and leave some comments down below. Thank you, have a nice day.